pharmaceuticals. Well, get out, get out. It's your boy, it's your boy. Different. What up, you guys? Well, well, well. It's your boy Jeffrey, aka Mr. Lockdown, aka Mr. Mississippi Boy himself. And to my lovely lefty. It's Mr. Lockdown. What up, you guys? See, she had to break out her own merch TV, church t shirt. TV and a church. Yeah, church and TV and a (laughs) church. So I had to put my, you know, my merch on myself. And right now we. I got one for you, um, eventually, personally. Uh huh. Uh, right now we listen to Zach Russian. I love crazy women, but just one. I know who you talk about. I know exactly. Are you agreeing? I did not say I don't disagree. But anyway, uh, okay. if y'all haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, become part of the Lockdown family. And then if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it across all your social media. Also, go over to Zach Russian to do the same thing for him. And let me know Mega Lockdown sent you. Let's get right into it. Oh, you don't want to send it? Yeah, it's the Mega Lockdown channel. Yeah. Come on now. You want to be in this or not? Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, really? I really want to throw it all like... Why does he keep on looking at me? <laughs> All right, let me start this off by saying that I love crazy women. I do. I always have. More specifically, I love one crazy woman, and she's head over heels about me, too. I like crazy women for the fact that it's never boring. It's not. You don't want no damn vanilla-ass woman coming home every day and everything just like, well, I don't give a fuck. I don't. Did he say vanilla-ass woman? Well, you know one flavor. Mm. <laughs> Nothing in Damn. No nuts, no, no oh, juju ain't. bears, no cranberries, oh, no raisin. Oh, she ain't got no nuts like that. Well, you know. Head over here about me, too. I like crazy women for the fact that it's never boring. It's not. You don't want no damn vanilla-ass woman coming home every day and everything just like, well, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck. No, that's boring. If you're boring, say you're boring. I'm not like that. I like the fact of coming home and we might fuck. Or I might fuck around and find out what I did wrong that day, not even having a clue. I like that shit. It gets. That is confusing to a brother like me. We might fuck, but then I did something wrong. And don't know what the hell I did wrong. And then turn around when she, when she do tell me, I'm so I'm like, huh? Was I there? <sighs> I'm not like that. I like the fact of coming home and we might fuck or I might fuck around and find out what I did wrong that day not even having a clue. I like that shit. It gets me going. And my woman is crazier than a sprayed roach. She really is. She's nuttier than squirrel turds, but I love that about her. <laughs> I'm liking both of them. <laughs> crazier than no, a sprayed, sprayed roach. <laughs> nuttier than a squirrel, squirrel turd. Where in the Himalayan do Zach come over these? <laughs> I, I like my Zach. The sprayed roach. <laughs> she really is. She's nuttier than squirrel turds, but I love that about her. The only issue I have about my crazy woman is the fact that shit kind of one-sided. Now, <laughs> once a week... No, ain't no kind of in it, Zach. <laughs> ain't no kind of in it. Always. And they swear me down, they right. That's the part that gets it. And then when they wrong, they don't like to admit they wrong. She can stop looking upside my head because she know I'm right. Oh, fine. It's the fact that shit kind of one-sided. <laughs> now, once a week, every week, I am a firm believer that you always need to continue to date your significant other. Thanks. The moment you quit dating your significant other is when you just become roommates. And she way too damn fine for me to just fuck around and be her roommate. That shit ain't happening. So once a week, I plan it out. I try to plan it out. I get her a little gift. She gets dressed up. We go out. Well, last week, she just wanted to go to the bar. She wanted to go to the bar, get some mozzarella sticks, drink, cut up, this, that, and the other. Now, I was cool with that cheap date. You get to go to the bar. While we're- He said he was cool with that cheap date. Get to go to the bar. Let me explain something to you, my friend. That was a test. And you feel miserable. <laughs> Even I know if- to come out of your mouth 
I listen to enough Steve Harvey to know not to do that shit. <laughs> Cut up, this, that, and the other. Now, I was cool with that. Cheap date. Get to go to the bar. While we're at the bar, a lot of our friends walked in. We conglomerated into one big group. Boys went over here, we're talking about golf. Girls went over here, they're talking about the boys. Doesn't bother us, it's a system. Now, with that being said, a guy walked up to Sarah, which is my girlfriend, and he shot his shot. Well, as soon as he walked up and tapped her on the shoulder, all my boys were like, bruh, 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 you gotta go get her. I'm like, y'all don't know how strong this bitch is right here, because she- Facts, no papers. <laughs> And he meant that in a good way, y'all. Yeah, he, he did. Not, he not calling his significant Cause, other. Because y'all are so fickle on that part, I bro. mean, we, we... Women call each other that all the time. But as soon as a man said, even in a nice way, oh, he way out of his character. I'm like, y'all don't know how strong this bitch is right here. Because she finna curve him like, she, like he waiting on a bus. I don't have to get involved in that. Shoot your shot, brother. But I'm going to warn you, it ain't going to end well. That's what I did in the middle of the bar. She curved his ass. I don't have to go check on her. I don't have to go protect her because I know how crazy this woman is. Now, with that being said, I didn't overreact. I let her handle her business. Mm. Now, fast forward to last night, okay? We went out on our weekly date because I'm leaving this weekend. I have two shows in Missouri, one in Joplin, one in Cape Girardeau. So, I don't... All right, go get that thing no. in, Zach. <laughs> I wish we could go. Go to that paper. But well, we're going to get a chance. I wish we could go. But, you know... Zach better still be on the road when we mm -hmm. do. Yeah, exactly. This weekend, I have two shows in Missouri. One in Joplin, one in Cape Girardeau. So, I don't have time to take her out at the end of this, at the end of this week. So, we went out last night. We walk into a very nice restaurant. After we went through our whole series of events where we get in the truck and we argue about where we're going. And she says, give me options. I give her three options of restaurants. She says she's not really feeling any of them. So I get mad and threaten to take us home to eat bologna sandwiches. And then we ended up settling on the same place we always go. It's our system and it works. I told y'all this bitch is nuts. All right, but I did. <laughs> oh, why you just didn't start with that one and then end with that one? That's why I want to know. Why you just didn't, didn't just take her to that spot anyway? Because it's going to end up I being that spot anyway. always you choose. Yeah, and then when I choose, she turned around and said, well, I wasn't feeling the next part right there. Then, then when I But end, if you go, I always find she something find to something, order. Yeah, she finds something to order. But if we out of town somewhere, it ain't happening. It's only two places she going. And if you ain't got one of them damn places, <laughs> bro, for the kids, hell. Settling on the same place we always go. It's our system and it works. I told y'all this bitch is nuts. All right, but I dig that shit. I'm into it. Now, we go into the restaurant, the hostess talks us to our table and we sit down. She's looking at the menu, I'm looking at the menu. The waitress walks up to the table, looks at us, says, can I take y'all's drink menu? I mean, y'all's drink order. And she said, yeah, and then she turned and looked at me and she goes, oh my God, you have amazing teeth. Wow, you have a pretty smile. Now, I said, oh shit, oh shit, oh. Why did you engage? <laughs> You should never engage. You forgot what you got sitting across from you in your crosshairs looking at you like she finna shoot you and she hunt you like a buck. I just want to say a dumb deer with your lights. And she goes, oh my God, you have amazing teeth. Wow, you have a pretty smile. Now, I said, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. Uh, I'll take a water with lemon. And she walked away. As soon as that woman got out of ear range, Sarah's head did just like this right here. Who the fuck was that? Uh -oh. You know her? Uh -oh. What's her name? Uh -oh. hmm? You got history with her? Uh -oh. Are you friends on Facebook? Uh -oh. What? I'm like, baby, you don't understand. You remember last week whenever you was in the bar and the guy hit on you and I didn't do nothing? That's how you got to be with me. She's like, nah, I, you don't understand something right now. She ain't getting a single fucking tip and I'm fitting to walk over here and I'm requesting a new waitress. I ain't dealing with that shit in front of me at this table. And she looked at me, she goes, do you have a problem with that? Hell no. Hell no. We got no problem with it. Do, do you. Do you, boo-boo. No, I got no problem. Oh, yeah. You I know see, how to end up. Yeah, you know what? You can see how my wife got me trained real good. No, nah, boo-boo, do. Do you? Because I don't want to hear shit. You ain't for the fuck up my meal. We're just in the night, too. Hell no. Shit.
<laughs> in front of me at this table. And she looked at me, she goes, do you have a problem with that? And I said, the only thing a man can say in that situation, I said, nah, baby, I ain't fucking with that. Mm, you go right ahead and do your thing, baby. I'm yours, I'm going home with you. Please don't stab me. Shit. Shit. <laughs> You got damn right. I'm with you, bro, on that shit. <laughs> no, bro. I ain't in it. Mm -mm. I ain't bad at Sarah Bell. I ain't, bad. I ain't that bad now. I'm not. She be, let me tell you how Angela works. I, Angela I, I, be trying I'm to sister. keep her. She try to, Mrs. Lockdown be trying her best to keep her calm, cool, collected, like she supposed to be Dr. Phil. And the whole time, Michelle in there going, bitch, let me out. <laughs> they don't know me, ho. <laughs> and I'll be sitting there, Antoine be like, I know damn well this hell for this. Because I'm going to tell you a story right quick. We're going to be done. It was my 45th birthday last year. She took me to a place called Mount Pizza. Twin Peaks. Yeah, Twin Peaks. It's a sports bar. All these women walking around with Daisy Dukes home. Yeah. Different variety. It's like a, a smorgasbord of Jolly Ranchers walking through there. What? Tall, short. And all of a sudden, this woman leans over. And the first thing come to a married man mind, this is a fucking setup. Bro, I was scared I was leaning towards her like this, bro. Because I'm kind of looking for the the the, the, uh, the knife you be cutting the uh, steak with. That's how. And then I'm like, you done sucked me up. I know this girl. I know what she she. I'm a confident woman. Confident and will cut and will cut you off so fast. Well, long as she don't put her hands on you. She in her mind. I'm gonna leave that alone. Hey, but like we said, Mississippi one on one down. Mississippi on lockdown. Pigs. I'm out of that. <laughs> I ain't even stepping that that gumbo. It don't stir right.